Mahamanav Aerospace and Research Exploration Private Limited. This is an internship program on avionics presented by Priyanka Ayali. In this module, we are going to study about the electronics that is CRT display. We will cover the introduction, principle of CRT, weather radar and screen formation. Have a look at this cathode ray tube diagram. You can observe various parts of the cathode ray tube. Now let us talk about the introduction. Displays of this type which are based on the electron beam scanning technique have been used in aircraft for very many years. For example, during the World War II, military aircraft used equipment developed from then existing ground based radar systems. With the aid of such equipment and depending on an aircraft specific operational role, crews were able to navigate by radar mapping of terrain to identify ground target areas and also to detect the position of hostile intercepting aircraft. Let us have a look at the principle of CRT. A CRT is a thermonioc device that is one in which electrons are liberated as a result of heat energy inside which are positioned an electronic gun and beam focusing and beam deflection systems. The inside surface of the screen is coated with a crystalline solid material known as phosphor. The electronic gun consists of a directly heated cathode biased negatively with respect to the screen, a cylindrical grid surrounding a cathode and two sometimes three anodes. When the cathode is heated, electrons are liberated and in passing through the anodes, they are made to form a beam. The grid is maintained at negative potential, its purpose being to control the current and so modulated beam of electronics passing through the hole in the grid. The anodes are at a positive potential with respect to the cathode and they accelerate the electrons to a high velocity until they strike the screen coating. The color CRT display. These are used in the weather radar display units and are the norm for those units designed for the display of data associated with the system installed in the type of aircraft referred to earlier. In these display units, weather data is also integrated with other data displays. And since there is a fundamental similarity, the methods through which they are implemented the operation of weather display unit serves as useful bias for study of the display principles involved. Weather Radar Each time the radar transmitter transmits a pulse, the receiver begins receiving return echoes from the targets at varying distances rho from the transmitter. This data is digitalized to provide output levels in binary coded form and is supplied to the indicator on two data lines. The binary coded data can represent four conditions corresponding to the level of return echoes which in turn are related to the weather conditions prevailing at the range in NM pre-selected on the indicator. The data are stored in memories which on being addressed as the CRT is scanned will at the proper time permit the weather condition to be displayed. The four conditions are displayed as follows. In addition to the foregoing raster scanning technique, which produces sections of a CRT screen in solid color, a stroke scanning technique is also used for producing displays of symbols and a data in alphanumeric format. Color Generation A color CRT has three electronic guns, each of which can direct an electronic beam at the screen, which is coated with three different kinds of phosphor material. On being bombarded by electron beams, the phosphorus luminescence in each of the three primary colors, red, green and blue. The screen is divided into large number of small areas or dots, each of which contains a phosphor of each kind. The beam of a particular gun must be only able to strike screen elements of one color and to achieve this a perforated steel sheet called a shadow mask is accurately positioned adjacent to the coating of the screen. The perforations are arranged in a regular pattern and their number depends on the size of the screen. 3,30,000 is typical. Beams emitted from each gun pass through the perforations in the mass and they cause the phosphor dots in the coating to luminescence in the appropriate color. For example, if a beam is emitted 
emitted by the red electronic gun only then only the red dots will luminescence and if the beam completes a full raster scan of the screen then as a result of persistent of vision by the human eye a completely red screen will be observed in the display of units of electronic instrument systems a number of other colors are also required and these are derived by independent circuit control of the three guns and their beam current so that as the beam strikes the corresponding phosphor dots the basic process of mixing primary colors take place in other words the electronic form of paint mixing is carried out alpha numeric displays The display of data in alphanumeric and symbolic forms is extremely wide ranging. For example, in a weather radar indicator, it is usually only required for range information and indications of selected operating modes to be displayed while in the systems designed to perform functions within the realm of flight management. A very much higher proportion of the information must be written on the screens of relevant display units. This is accomplished in a manner similar to that adopted for the display of weather data but additional memory circuits decoders and the character and symbol generator circuits are required raster scanning is also used but where data marks arcs or other cursive symbols are to be displayed a stroke pulse method of scanning is adopted the position of each character on the screen is predetermined and stored in a memory matrix typically 5 cross 7 and when the matrix is addressed the character is formed within a corresponding matrix of dots on the screen by video signal pulses produced as the line are scanned the crt display units of the more compressive electronic instrument systems operate on the same fundamental principles as those described but in applying them more extensive microprocessing circuit arrangements are required in order to display far greater amounts of changing data in quantitative and qualitative forms spacing is necessary between individual characters and also between rows of characters and so extra line blanking bits example 3 are allocated to character display areas the display data is in two basic forms fixed and moving the fixed data relate in a particular to such presentation as symbols scale markings name of systems data marks names of parameters being measured etc moving data are in the majority of course since they present changes occurring in the measurement of all parameters essential for in flight management the changes are indicated by the movement of symbolic pointers index marks digital counter presentation and system status messages to name but a few